Hello, Tigers. How are you guys today? I'm going to read you Chapter 7 of Cam Jansen. Okay? Um, let's see. So when we left off last time, they thought that they found the person who got the cold coins, and that was Jimmy. Remember, he worked in the store. Jimmy put his pen and money back into his pockets. Then he put his jacket on. As the police were leading Jimmy to the front of the store, they passed a man kicking the soda machine. When he, sat, when he saw the police, the man stopped kicking the machine. I lost two quarters, he said. Well, don't break the machine, the policeman told him as he walked past. Cam stopped. She looked at the man and the machine, and then she closed her eyes and said, click. She opened her eyes quickly. The police and Jimmy were leaving the store. Stop, Cam called to them. Come back here. The policewoman rushed back. What is it now, she asked. Just wait here. I think I know where the gold coins are. And, she said to the man, You'll get your quarters back. Cam ran to the locksmith's counter. Someone lost money in the soda machine, she told Lenny. Lenny opened a cash register and took out some coins. No, don't give him the money. Please open the machine and see what's wrong. Lenny took some keys off the hook and followed Cam. He pressed some buttons on the soda machine, but nothing happened. He put a gold coin into the machine, pressed the buttons again, but still nothing happened. When they came in, Cam whispered to Eric. Jimmy was standing right here. He put something into the machine. It might have been the gold coins. Lenny unlocked the machine and opened it. Inside were cups ready to slide down a small metal ramp, two pleading to containers of soda syrup, and a clear basket coin chute. There were coins stuck in the chute. The first two were gold. Lenny gave the chute a few hard taps and the coins dropped down. Lenny gave the man his money and he gave the coins to Mr. Collins. One of these must be bent, Lenny told Mr. Collins. That's why it got stuck. Mr. Collins said, I'm glad if the coins weren't bent, we might not have found them. And there's the picture. The police drove Cam, Eric, and Mr. Collins back to the coin shop. Then they took the Jimmy to the police station. I said before that I didn't know about the clicks, Mr. Collins told Cam, but now I do. They help you remember, and they helped buy my coins. Eric looked through the window of the store while Mr. Collins opened the door. You have a good memory, Eric told Cam, but you forgot about your camera. It's on the counter. We better hurry back to school with it before it's too late to be put in the science fair. Don't go so fast. I want to give you something for helping me, Mr. Collins said. He opened the door, then he opened one of the cases and took out a handful of coins. He gave five of the coins to Cam and five to Eric. Eric looked at the coins. These are pennies, he said. Mr. Collins smiled and said, yes. If you want to spend them, they're worth just one cent each, but to a collector, they're worth much more. These are Indian head pennies and they're quite old. The last ones were made in 1909. Cam and Eric thanked Mr. Collins for the coins and invited him to the science fair. Then Cam took her camera and walked to school with Eric. And there's the, cold, the coins. Chapter eight. That evening, Cam and Eric were standing by their projects. Miss Benson and the other fifth grade teachers walked with the science fair judges from table to table. They asked the children about their projects. Each of the judges wrote notes on a pad, and later they would announce the winner of the science fair. Cam's parents were at the science fair, and so were Eric's, his twin sisters, Donna and Diane, and his baby brother, Howie. They all came to Cam's table. Did the judges get here yet? Cam's father asked. No, but they'll be here soon. They were just with Eric. Do you know what to say? They'll ask me how I made the camera and how it works. I know all about it. Don't forget to tell them that the first picture you took was of me, Donna said. They might think it's Diane because they look alike. <clears throat> you tell them it was me. The teachers and judges walked up to Cam's table. This is Jennifer Jansen, Miss Benson told the others. She made a camera. Can you tell us about it, Jennifer? There's no film in it right now, so I can't open it for you. Cam took off the camera. It started as a box. She showed the teachers and the judges where she put the film and how she had the, made the shutter with a pin, some tape, cardboard, and aluminum foil. The most important thing is, Cam said, that I made sure no light gets into the camera. If light gets in, the film is ruined. The judges asked Cam some questions. 
Have you guys ever seen a camera that actually has film in it? I bet you might not have. Then they walked over to the next table. Everyone waited for the winner to be announced. Miss Benson walked onto the stage. She spoke into the microphone while the other teachers and judges stood behind her. Before I announce the winner, I want to thank everyone for coming here tonight. I also want to thank all our fifth grade students for working so hard. Someone tapped Cam and Eric on their shoulders. It was Mr. Collins. I hope you both win, he said. One of the judges handed Miss Benson a trophy. Then Miss Benson said, this year's winner is Joan Cooper for her project, Soda, Sugar, and Teeth. Joan, will you come here, please? Eric whispered to Cam. Well, at least Linda Baker didn't win. Joan walked onto the stage and Miss Benson gave her her trophy. Lights flashed. And her parents and some people took pictures. Why don't you take your, her picture, Mr. Collins asked. There's no film in my camera. No, use your other camera, the one that saved my coins. Joan was shaking hands with one of the judges. Cam looked straight at her and said, click. Then Cam looked at Mr. Collins. He was talking to Cam's parents, to Eric, and to his family. I'm taking your pictures too, Cam told them. Cam's mother combed her hair. Eric's mother held Howie up so that he would be in the picture. Then they smiled. Cam looked straight at them all and said, what do you think she said? Click. All right, that is the end of the Cam Jansen book. So I ordered the Chocolate Touch, but it hasn't come yet. Amazon's a little slower than they used to be. Um, so if it is, if I get it today or if I get it tomorrow morning, I'll start it tomorrow. If not, it should be here for Monday. And um, what else? Start trying to um, get on Google Classroom every single day, okay? Because I'm going to be leaving some activities for you guys to try at home. And um, that's it. So I miss you all. Hope you're doing well. And um, we'll be reading again soon, okay? Bye-bye.